I'm hoping that today we can finally get this cleared up. It's been a couple of days of sort of pissing around with different trying ways of getting this to work, but unfortunately today I've just been told by uh, one of the members of the Discord channel that Steam have taken my link down because I wrote up a full guide on how to install all of these mods in the right load order in the same order I've got them um, for your own game. However, Steam have apparently removed the link would have made this a lot easier for you, so I'm going to talk you through it here and put a link to this video on the, uh, on the Steam page here. It's kind of meta. So, from the top... You have to download the mod order list linked from uh, here, which is what they've decided to remove. Thank you for that one, but it is a media file link I'll take you to now. So the link to this Mediafire page will be available down in the description. There are no viruses or anything like that. Mediafire does scan this quite thoroughly. It is just simply a .xml file, which is essentially just uh, more or less a fancy text document. Uh, containing the load order for the mods. You're going to want to go ahead and download this one. So once you've downloaded your MedievalRim.xml file from the media file, this is your mod list, right? This is going to tell the game how to mo load the mods in the right order using the mod manager mod that I have also included in this mod pack. Make sure you enable mod manager from the mod manager menu. Again, all the steps are on the Steam Workshop, so if you can just follow that one along if you're not sure how to do very particular, very simple steps. So, enable mod manager, then you want to install the medievalrim.xml into the right folder. So you want to actually put this one in your app data, local low, Ludion Studios, RimWorld folder. Then in here will be a folder called mod lists. Drag medievalrim.xml into there, and that is it. After that, you just need to go into game and load up the mod list via the mod menu. If you don't know how to get to your app data folder, it's very straightforward. Come into your Windows or whatever you've got. I don't know if this is the same for Mac. In fact, I probably doubt it is at all. But for Windows in particular, type in percent app data percent, similar to that. That will take you to your roaming folder, which will be here. Then from there, you can simply click back to app data. The only reason I'm telling you how to do this is because... For certain OSs, depending on the level of your account, if you're not an administrator or something like that, you might not be able to see your app data folder. Chances are you won't have access to it. So if you use, like I said, percent app data percent, that will take to your roaming folder. And then back from there, you can go into local low, Ludion Studios, RimWorld, and then mod lists, and then copy it into there. So once you've done that, you want to open up your favorite story generated by Tyne and Sylvester. Go into the mod folder here and make sure you have mod manager enabled and somewhere near the top of your load order. If you haven't got any mods enabled yet, it should be the only one you've got enabled. And then, of course, everything else will be downloaded in this left-hand section. From there, press the floppy disk icon or the save icon and then click load mod list. This one here, Medieval Rim. Press that button, load mod list. What that will do is that will enable the mod, the mods in the correct order that should, um, hopefully, allow you to play uh, as I'm playing right now. And that is essentially it. Simply, like I said, Medieval Rim, load mod list. I didn't really want to do it because I thought it might fuck my game up, but apparently we're good. And there you go. You've loaded all of your mods in the right order as you would expect them to do. And it should work hopefully quite fine. Now, there are some other things I should point out. If you haven't got anything enabled and you enable the mod manager, make sure you close and restart RimWorld. So, for example, when you disable and enable a mod anyway, I'll say you just enable a mod. RimWorld should ask you to restart. If you're enabling mod manager for the first time, make sure you do this. Otherwise, it won't work. Um, I don't particularly want to turn on all conversion because it's a buggy piece of shit. So don't actually use that one. Um, hence why it's not included in my in my mod order. There we go. Um, and that's essentially it. Just make sure you reboot and then load the mods from the save. Hopefully, that's cleared everything up. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll try and solve them as much as possible. Apologies that this has taken so long, but between Steam Workshop being an absolute pile of shit and having my links removed, this has been a massive pain in the ass to even try and get this to work. So... Fingers crossed, everything is good. Hope you guys all enjoy playing, and uh, see you in the series.